Terrestrial laser scanners are getting cheaper and easier to use. The problem is that they produce gigantic data sets, known as reality data, that can only be used in desktop-centric workflows and by shipping on hard disk. With Sintu Cloud, we make the reality data fully cloud compatible so that all stakeholders can collectively benefit from it and can collaborate in real time. By making this move to the cloud, reality data not only becomes collaborative, but it also benefits from cloud computing and machine learning for analysis. Sintu's core technology is the result of many years of academic research and development. We can turn a point cloud into surfaces that will make the reality data 15 to 20 times smaller in size before uploading to the cloud. It is also much easier to view and to stream as a mesh using a simple Google web browser. What's really revolutionary about Sintu Cloud is that an inverse transformation is also possible. You can get back the reality data in its original form as a structured or unified point cloud without compromising the accuracy. Here's a first example of Sintu reality data in Google Chrome. What you are looking at now is a typical panoramic view from a terrestrial laser scanner. But this is not a flat image, this is a photo textured mesh. If I remove the photo textures, you will see the surface that was generated from the point cloud. The surface will reveal every single detail that the laser beam was able to capture, even if there are over or under exposures from your RGB sensor. In this second example, the scan was made without any color, and the gray levels come from the intensity data. With the typical 360 view of the scan, you can see almost nothing. By looking at the surface generated by Sintu Cloud, we will reveal details that you probably have never seen before in your own laser scans, like on these bricks or the ceiling. We take the laser scan data after the registration as structured RCP thanks to the Recap SDK or E57 files. Sintu Connect is a Windows app that will run locally on your desktop to transform the point cloud into a surface mesh and to upload it to Sintu Cloud. The reality capture data is now accessible by your team or your customers at any time from anywhere using either Amazon or Azure. We connect Sintu Cloud to BIM 360 docs so that we can pull the 3D BIM model and overlay it onto the reality data and compare the as-built to the design intent. The other workflow that we support is the scan to BIM. Using the Sintu Cloud web interface, you can crop the data along any axis, organize your scans and work zones, and using Sintu Connect, you can export back this reality data as a unified RCS file or a structured E57 file for consumption in your CAD software. Sintu Cloud is definitely the collaboration platform that you need to share and distribute your reality capture data to every stakeholder inside or outside your company. This is Sintu Cloud. I'm using Google Chrome as a browser. The first thing you see is your dashboard, listing all the recent activities on your projects from each one of your team members. You can also invite an unlimited number of users to the platform and give them access to the data with certain permissions. These are my projects. I can search for projects through the thumbnails, the list, or via a map as well. Creating a new project is very easy, and you can even select the cloud provider and the data center where your scans will be hosted. This is one project as an example. It has 60 scans uploaded. You can view them here as thumbnails. There are multiple ways to look at the data, and the one I'm using now is the 3D view. See how fast we stream the data from a server in Europe? You can navigate the 3D data easily. We provide several display modes. Here, it's RGB. Now I switch to X-ray, which is really useful to look at the project structure. Another one is the surface mode, and I can activate the back face culling to always see the inside of my project. What you see now is not the original point cloud, but the surface extracted from it. 
Now I click on one of the scans and I see the mesh created for this particular scan. Again, see the quality of the mesh that we produce and how it helps see very fine details that were captured by the laser beam. I can move from one scan location to the next. See the difference between the panoramic image and the 3D mesh? I can use this view to make measurements or add annotations. Measurements can be made using the metric or imperial system. All this project metadata can be shared with your team members. If it's an issue or a private note, your team members will be notified directly by email. Let's switch to the overview map and see some more cool features. The overview map is a set of orthographic views of the project, which you can see from any angle. This is the top view. This is the side view. I like to switch to the X-ray display mode at this stage to have a better understanding of my projects. You can use this overview map to cut slices and create crop sections or elevations of your project. I use the crop tool here along the Z-axis to cut a slice. I can adjust the slice. If I look at the top view now, this is like having an MRI of the building. Once I'm happy with my crop, I save it in my list of crops and then I can export it as a unified RCS point cloud using Recap SDK. Now I have the exact slice of my point cloud directly in AutoCAD, which I can use to draw a floor plan, for example. Another scan to BIM workflow is to export either a set of scans, a work zone, or the whole project as a unified RCS or a structured E57. You simply select your scans or here I've selected the work zone that includes the nine interior scans and I click on download. Using Sintu Connect, here is your structured point cloud back in Recap. Sintu Cloud also enables the scan versus BIM workflow by overlaying a BIM model made of IFC parts over the scan data. With this workflow, you can validate the 3D BIM model built from your point cloud which is the case in this example. Or you can monitor the progress of a construction by comparing the as-built to the design intent. This quality check is purely visual for the moment, but Sintu Cloud aims at becoming the platform from which analytics will be run in the cloud and to automatically extract the meaningful information expected by millions of professionals.